Hey guys, Northern Crusade here once more with Baltech. I've been actually wanting to do this game for a while, but I've been struggling to actually get recorded properly. And other things in mind, like other things. But still, this is a game obviously set in the Baltech universe, the MechWarrior universe, as some people might know it better. And it's basically XCOM style mech warfare. I like XCOM to begin with. I've actually not really a fan of Mech Warrior because of Mech Warrior Online, at least. I'm not exactly a mech guy. Uh, I prefer infantry combat. But I actually like this game a lot. I've been playing it, a, 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 not very far in the campaign, but I'm far enough where I actually know I like this game, so I'll be happy to do this. Now, I'm going to tell you now, I don't know too much about the MechWarrior universe. I actually, there is actually some helpful features in the game to help you, so we're going to do a new campaign. Kamea of House Arano, High Lady of the Oregon Reach, Protector of Coromadir, and the Sword of Restoration. But I am not a hero, no matter what the stories say. A hero would have sacrificed more, compromised less. A hero would have done better. You know this, of course. You were there. My father used to tell me stories about the ancient times. About the Star League. A golden age of prosperity. Upheld by the great mech warriors of old. Guardians of the innocent. Protectors of the peace. I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne. It was hiring a mercenary, skilled enough, perhaps ruthless enough, to carry the day. Hiring you. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it, for belief in my cause, or just in my money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Whether you believe it, that's up to you. Welcome to the Oregon Reach. The Oregon Reach is a small kingdom in the Rimwood Periphery, which is... You know, if you see these, you can actually hover over and gives you a little... Hit a little, uh... Dictionary kind of thing of it. The periphery... The Rimwood Periphery is a region of space bordering and surrounding it in the sphere. The area directly opposite the Galactic Core is known as the Rimwood Periphery. The periphery is home to major states such as the magi magist eh, Magistracy of Canopus. Torian Concord, that, and the Oregon Coalition, as well as the large number of independent worlds. Region space lies at the outskirts of more densely colonized in the sphere. It's home to the Oregon Coalition, a federation organized around a, per a parliamentary monarchy and ruled by the Arano family. For three generations under the House Arano, uh, eh, for under the rule of House Arano, the Oregon Coalition has remained a relatively peaceful corner of the periphery. It is here your story begins. Decades ago, your f uh, the girl? Decades ago, your family came to the Reach from. You can choose like tons of places, so you can get. You can come from the Combine. You can come from the Free Worlds League. You can come from the Federated Suns. All of these have some major. They don't really have an effect on you, but they have some effect on what you can do. So you can come from the Deep Periphery, which is, you know, you uh, do. Thanks to the space, I save the rest of humanity at the Fourth Star League. Ooh, that's what the, the Stalin Defense Force are in, actually. Okay. We have the Umbo Periphery, which is where we are now. It's not an easy way to characterize them. All these have some kind of characteristics to them. So, like, the Concord, that is, our mech are known to be aggressive and stubborn. Quick to anger, but skilled and perceptive. Canopus, you are tend to be known for a uh, good amount of skill and fighting styles, and in favor of clever and orthodox tactics. I'm not sure if this actually affects anything yet, but. Generally speaking, this does have an effect on some of the 
storyline stuff you can pick. I'm not sure if it affects the story in the long term, but... So, me, personally, going through all these, just going to like, hover over them, just so you can get a quick look. And the Combine, who are... Right, I am going to go with the Free World League. The oldest and free re and theoretically most democratic of the great states of the Inner Sphere. The Free Worlds League is actually a broad coalition of many minor noble houses. For most of the League's history, it has been ruled in the martial law by a Captain General, who by tradition is from House Marek. The cultural diversity and relative independence of its component regions are at once the greatest strength of the Free Worlds League and its greatest weakness. We value justice and equality among us all, we're enjoying quiet as we tend to be passionate. Now, I've never been going one of the Federated Sons. Uh, this is actually where Reinhardt is right now. You won't know who Reinhardt is. Now, I like the idea of these because they have finally home skills, better equipment, but they, they see themselves as righteous fighters and champions of liberty. I love this idea. Um, I was thinking, like, this is something else I want to pick. Welcome to Rotain. No, I they've also under rotation, not being particularly strategic <laughs> thinkers. That's me in a nutshell. <laughs> Liao are capable of holding the line after surprisingly opposed as opposed to it and make them stick with underestimating them. Delegate and steadfast. I think I'm gonna federated sons. You are of noble birth. Though immigrants to the organ reach, your family soon established a comfortable presence in a small backwater system, on the edge of our organ space. By the time you were born, your family had become a de facto ruling nobility of the system's only inhabited planet. You were the oldest child, heir to the family titles and ancestral battle mech, the Blackjack BJ-1. It's equipped for both long-range and long-range combat, a pair of ether twos backed up by four medium lasers, letting them make a powerful alpha strike, while jump jets enable the jet Blackjack to move to high ground at moment's notice. It's a good old round mech. This is where you met Raju Mastiff Montgomery. Ooh. A veteran of the Succession Wars, who your parents hired on from a se season to train you as a mech warrior. Raju was a strict but capable teacher. He quickly became a skilled pilot under his tutelage. It was an uneventful life. The Succession Wars uh, is a series of wide ranging conflicts between the successor states of the Inner Sphere, lasted from 2786 to the current year 3025. During these wars, the Great House mobilized vast numbers of battle mechs to destroy each other and claim territory. The ultimate goal of ruling the Inner Sphere. A notable consequence of these conflicts was a significant loss of advanced technology from the prior Star League era. We're well, basically in 40k. Until the day of, after your 16th birthday, when. So, we can choose one of these and we get some benefits. Just to let you know gunnery is your skill action with firing, tactics just is. Um, you get better cold shots, you get better. Ac um, indirect fire. You get minimum range. Uh, piloting is better for melee. Also good for moving about. And guts is more survivability. So. Hmm. Our family died in an accident. Especially the family died in a freak jumpsuit issue accident. After which you discovered they had left nothing behind but a pile of debts. And to tell Ethan Settler that you set off on your own, with only your family's ancestral blackjack left to your name. It's on piloting, so we go about a million plus one guts, so we've got more survivability. Also, guts also makes us better with um, recoil weapons, like AC2s. Out on your own, you fell into a life of A. So we can be a soldier, which gives us more gunnery. Gut, uh, pirate, which gives us more guts. The gladiator, which gives us more gunnery. The inner sphere mercenary, which gives us tactics. Frontier la la freelancer, which gives us tactics. Or merchant guard, which gives us piloting. I kind of like the idea of being a merc. This is just how you. This is just additional bonus starting stats, by the way. So. Merchant Guard, you signed on as a guard for a small trading guild, finding security as the guild's caravan made trading runs to your inner sphere from the, in the periphery. It was a large and eventful life, being able to put your mech warrior skills to good use in the occasional scuff with pirates and uncooperative local governments. 
until years later he crossed path, paths with Raju Mastiff Montgomery once we danced again. While escorting a supply caravan to a small outpost in the outskirts of the Oregon Reach, he was set upon by pirates and left for dead. Raju happened to be visiting the capital city and picked up your distress call. Upon rescuing you, he offered you a job in the House of Rano and Royal Guard. As a Rano foresight and vision, the Herete rules the Oregon Coalition, currently led by Lady Kamiya Arano. The Arano House Sigil. Sigil is a great comorant cor on the field of red. The ancestral seat of House Arano is, is Coroma DF6. From the early days of the Rimwood Trade Partnership and the founding of the Oregon Coalition 2910 through to the present day, House Arano has led the systems of the Oregon Reach. So it is that you find yourself reunited with your old mentor, preparing your ancestral blackjack for guard duty on the coronation day of Lady Kamir, Kamir Arano. Brave, idealistic and determined, Lady Kamir Arano is the daughter of the late High Lord Tamati Arano II, due to inherit the throne of the Organ Coalition. And you get to change your appearance. So, what are we going to go with? I am... I am a he. So... I can't really look at this one actually. Customers. Oh. Okay, let's go with this one. Um <laughs> Not sure what most of these actually do with the pilot seat, but we're gonna be here a while folks. <laughs> Just swan it now! Yeah, no makeup. Uh twos. I've definitely got a lot of patterns to it, look at them there. Ooh, that's a good one. Actually, ooh, 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 what's it, that one? Scar. I like that one, actually. Hairstyle, um... Yes, I am just going to. I am just going to. Ham. <laughs> like, sorry, that's one thing I like to like. Yeah, you know, decent. Then again, I'm customizing it, so it's never gonna look decent. None of my things ever do. Really? They let you do that? <laughs> uh, you can't really see his eyebrows, but facial hurts. I will change this. Don't worry. It's not gonna be blue. It's not gonna be entertaining. Clothing, I want like some kind of armor, really. So just pilot or. Ooh, that's a good one, actually. I'll take that one. Yes, yeah, change the color lighting. <laughs> oh, that's good. And camera. Yeah. Right, so. Obviously, black areas. Let's get a. Looks like a twat. <laughs> it's called a space fade. Actually, I'll take this one. I wish there was a quick way to get through these. Like just click and drag, but you can't annoyingly. At least they're accommodating just about every single hair colour in existence, even some that don't exist. Um Oh, wow, that's good actually. Swanky. Don't really care about lips, don't really care about makeup. Let's take this. So, we will be. Lint. Drake Assam. 
No, this isn't me. Well, it is me, but it's not me for this. We have okay, so we start off with gunnery two, party four, tactics two, guts three. There is a plan for this. So we are decades ago. Your family came to your reach and ferried sons. They had your 16th birthday. Leslie your family died in a piloting accident. Out on your own, you fell into life of a merchant guard. High Lord Tamati Arano II is dead. The organ reach is left at an uncertain crossroads. Once prosperous, it is now a kingdom in decline, surrounded by powerful neighbours. Lord Santiago Espinosa, brother-in-law to the late High Lord, is convinced that the slow-moving council of founding houses must be dissolved. His proposed directive would conscript their house guard and centralise power under a single throne. However, the High Lord's heir, the noble Lady Camille Arano, is determined to rebuild the Reach without transforming it into an authoritarian state. She refuses to enact her uncle's directive and has rebuked his vehement plans to reconsider. reconsider. On the morning of Lady Arana's ascension to the throne, her loyal captain of the guard, Raju Mastiff Montgomery, makes preparation to escort her safely to the coronation procession that awaits in Cordia City. Coronation Day, around the Summer Palace, 8.53 local time. It's actually just loading the first. Engagement there, quotes. The soil. I do like that view though. Like you're standing on top of Blackjack. That's Blackjack, by the way. The Mackie Sire thing was. It's taking longer than normal to load. There we go. Command interface initiated. To be fair, yes, sir. Right, so, go. so we can we can move the camera with the west keys, or we can go to the edge and uh, okay, go near the edge and it moves. It weird. Oh, because I'm not down to the window. I go. Okay, so we can use the west keys to move the camera around. It's gonna be easier. Q and E to rotate. And Matt Red used something. Okay, Glenn. I had the Espino the Espinosa Reef Yards rush to repairs near Blackjack. Looks like it's all in one piece, but we should run some diagnostics on it, just to be sure. Stand the field test, you know the drill. More importantly though, I want to tell you more about the job I brought you out here to do. Now do me a favour and get your battle mech moving. Let's see if there are any kinks in the actuators. So, when you want to move people, this is Blackjack, this is our mech. Adorable, isn't it? Oh great, that's my, that's my cool paint job. Uh, you can actually give paint job, so we've got to click down here to choose people, click on the mix here. I'll come right out and say it, kid. I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. There's going to be more to this job than escort duty. You guys tells you, like, hey, you can move your mouse. Let's just... You, move, you, click, you left click to move to where you want to go, so like, I want to go here. The arrows are how much evasion you're going to get, and evasion is improved uh, eva um, defense for so many turns. So... Two attacks they fire as are gonna have reduced accuracy. Now I can click here and I can choose which way I want to face. Now 
this actually does affect a lot of things, like that's my firing angle for a start, that's the accuracy ranges I think, I'm not entirely sure on that one. Otherwise, this also affects how, how the enemies are going to fire at, so if they fire at me from the front, they're going to hit my front. There is something about that later on, which you'll see. I brought you here because there's something wrong in the capital. It's been too quiet since High Lord Tomatis' funeral. And I'm worried about Lady Khmer's safety during her coronation procession. Anyway, looks like your actuators, ch actuate, yeah, actuators check out. Let's conduct a weapons test. Target one of these buttons out. Old urban next and open fire. Like I was saying, I can't prove anything. But my gut tells me something's off. And a warrior trusts their instincts. Good shot. Your guns are in working order at least. I've been training Lady Arano since she was 14 years old. She can be naive at times and, and proud, but I have no doubt that she'll be a just and effective ruler. It's on us to see her safely to Cordia City. I'll rest easy once she's in the capital with her cousin Victoria by her side. Lady Victoria... Well, she's only been training under me for a single season. But she's already shaped herself into one of the strongest mech warriors I've ever seen. Reminds me a lot of you, truth be told. Anyway, we should run a check on your target computer. You see that mech over there? The one moving through the fruit tree line? Put some hurt on it for me. And then when it turns, take it out of a rear angle shot. After it's down, we'll keep moving. Camille's like a daughter to me. And her late father, High Lord Damati, was a good friend. First thing you gotta fire at is the armor. So you take out the armor, you can. Victoria pulls no punches, but she's been a loyal companion to Kamea since they were kids. Aside from you, there's no one I'd rather have by my side in a fight. Enemy unit destroyed. Nice shot. Now I don't know how familiar you are with Oregon politics, but the region was badly shaken by Hard Lord Tomati's death. It needs a smooth transfer of power, and Kamea belongs on the Cormoran throne. Go ahead and fire at the jump jets, kid. I want to see you descend this cliff face. Aim for that patch of ground there, near the edge of the lake. Yes, we get jump jets. They actually allow you to ignore terrain, and they actually give you a lot of evasion if you go right to the end. So, we've got four jump jets, gives us... I don't actually know how it works it out, but we can jump to here. You can choose which way you're facing when you land, so we're going to face this way just to be sure. And this will generate heat. Enemy a lot of heat, apparently. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Jump jets build a lot of heat, and that was more than your engine could handle. Head on into that water. We need to get you cooled off. Now, this thing I actually like about this game, they actually do accommodate the heat factor. So if I go in here, then I actually reduce my heat. I actually increased my heat sink ability by 50%. So I actually cool down. Warning. Plasma leak detected. Jump jet malfunction. Jump jet systems damaged. System inoperable until repaired. Oh, for the love of all the gods. This is what I get for insisting on a rush job. Not that I had much of a choice. The Espinosa refit yard, yards are backlog like you wouldn't believe. Looks like they were trying to process every single royal guard mech in time for the coronation. There isn't any time to get your jets replaced, so we're going to have to make do without them. Go ahead and take down that mech with a melee attack. I want to be sure nothing else is going to break down your blackjack before we take it out on the Comoran Road. Melee attacks don't generate any heat. You've got to move into range to attack things, so you can see, that. You can see we've got melee in here. You can actually turn these weapons off if you click them. So, it can be something helpful later on. Let's get on, lad! Good hit. At least that's solid. Alright, one last test. I want you to take your blackjack up to a sprint and evade my attack. Push that engine, kid. If something goes wrong today, I want to know that you're mecha maneuver. Ah, that's free. Can I get any more than free? We want to be in here, so. 
Well, there's Mastiff, so. There's actually two different values for armor in this game. There's armor itself and there's structure damage. Armor is what takes a hit first. Once ar when armor's gone, you then attack the, the structure. If you lose the structure, that bit of the armor's gone. If it's your head or your core, your mech's dead. Your part is gone. If you lose both of your legs, you're gone. If you lose an arm, it can be a weapon damage. Congratulations, Clint. Your blackjack is combat ready as it can be, given the circumstances. For what it's worth, I hope my, my suspicion turns out to be unfounded. And when the day have a good laugh about what a paranoid old man I've become. But if not, then I know that you'll be ready. Alright, time to move out. Lady Orano is waiting for us in the mech bay. An impressive display, Sir Raju. Of course, this mech warrior was a student of yours. I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit. Ooh, he's in the story. Glint, allow me to introduce Lady uh, Kamea Arano, soon to be High Lady Oregon Coalition. Is Lady Victoria on this channel? For the time being, my father has summoned me to the Picton docks. I have a fleet inspection and a tour of the family roof at Yards to preside over before the coronation. Behold the responsibilities of a noble daughter. A font of tedium that never runs dry. I know the feeling, cousin. By this time tomorrow, I'll be responsible for the entire reach. Give my best to your father. And don't believe the tourney. The gambling dens are already taking bets on how long it'll take me, me to cripple that customized monstrosity you pilot. <laughs> Bold words, cousin. But the only victory you'll they'll be celebrating is mine. Maybe you're selling to the throne today. But my cargo is more than a match of the family heirloom that you call Battle Mag. And in the arena, I reign supreme. <laughs> we'll see, cousin. We'll see. At any rate, I will see you on the, at the tourney grounds. So Raju, I'm ready to go when you are. Over land, and on the Cormorant Roads, as is the Iran uh, tradition. Aye, Kamea. We'll get you there in one piece. Glint, fall in behind me. And remember what I told you. Mission successful. That's actually a tutorial on shooting. Basically, keep moving and angle. <laughs> it's like well, the tanks. <laughs> angle! <laughs> 